Hello YouTube and welcome to Heathen Hacks. Today I would like you to meet Reggie, the esteemed leader of the resistance. This is his origin story. The creation of Reggie was actually inspired by a meme that I saw on Reddit. And since my brain was a little fried from all the coding and thinking of what to do for future Arduino projects, I have decided to do something different. Genius. A DIY electronic parts figurine. From concept to creation. Let's go! Here are the things that I have used. Some unused resistors for the body or frame. Ceramic capacitors for the elbow, transistors for the shoulder pads and exoskeleton boots, an electrolytic capacitor for the power supply, an LED for the head. I haven't included the yellow LED here yet since that was added after. An SPDT switch to power the LEDs on or off, a button cell battery, and a circular magnet. We're also going to need some hookup wires, a small breadboard, super glue, a pair of tweezers, screwdriver, flush wire cutters, and needle nose pliers. Okay, after downloading the images of the things that we will use using Google Images, I'm going to fire up my Photoshop and proceed on making the concept. Now we're going to test our very basic circuit just to see if what we want to do is possible. Get the breadboard, add the LED, switch, and hookup wire. Make sure that the cathode of the LED and the first pin of the switch are aligned. After that, connect another hookup wire to the second pin or middle pin of the switch, like this. This pin will go here, and the middle one here. Then, add another hookup wire for the anode pin of the LED and another one connected to the middle pin of the switch. Okay, then let's get the button cell battery and make sure that the polarity is correct. The positive side will be facing me on my setup since the anode or positive pin of the LED is on this side. Alright, let's turn on the switch. And there you have it. Our circuit is working. Now let's start on turning the concept into something tangible. Cue the montage. After connecting the neck, aka hookup wire, let's connect the collarbone, aka resistor. Then the shoulders. Now for the backbone and pelvis, I have used a hookup wire and attached some resistors. Alright, while these things are drying up, let's make the Tesla coil gun. Then, while our gun is drying up, let's connect the color bone to our backbone and pelvis. Then, let's add the elbows and the gun. As you can see, it's slowly starting to take shape. Now it's time for some soldering. First, let's solder some leads onto the cathode and anode legs of the LEDs using the legs that we have removed from the resistors earlier. Thank you. 
After that, let's add some heat shrink tubing to add some thickness to the legs before adding the exoscale boots and another LED attached to the gun. And there it is. Now this one looks okay, but it's lacking something. Alright, while charging my iPod, I have attached the capacitor or power supply for the Tesla coil gun. I have also hooked up a pair of wires to the capacitor that would be connected to the gun and another pair of wires hooked up to the cathode and anode legs of the LED where we will connect the other LED. After that, the only thing that we need to do is the platform where Reggie would stand and where we would conceal the switch and the battery. For the platform, I have used this lens cap from one of my smartphone lenses. As you can see, Reggie fits perfectly on the platform. Now we need to make a small hole for the power leads from the switch and the battery. Then solder the wires to the switch. And here is Reggie, finally done. I used super glue to attach the wire to the battery at first but it was a wrong move. So I removed it and just used some clear packaging tape instead. And our circuit is still working. Pretty nice eh? Very nice. Using super glue is the best way to do it I think. It's a bit messy though since it's my first time and the tip of the super glue is a bit messed up but it's okay. I'm really proud of it. Okay, the main reason why I made Reggie was to add some more display on the top of my computer case. An open hard disk drive was the only thing that is on top of it before. Reggie would stand right here. Now this is okay and all but let's add a magnet so that Reggie won't move around. Alright, let's power it up. I'm actually thinking of adding some more members to the resistance group for future projects, but uh, I'm not that sure yet. We'll see I guess. Thanks for watching and see you again next week. Maybe.